Amen. Praise God. Thank God for this morning. It's exactly a good word of God to us and a word of encouragement. Today is September 8, 2022. Hallelujah. And the topic of the Open Heaven Daily Devotional that's written by our Father and Lord Pastor Yadeboye. Adeboye. The topic is Power Over Dark Forces. Power Over Dark Forces. There are powers, there are forces, and there are forces. We have dark forces. So if we have dark forces, it means that there are eh, white forces. Have we? White. We will have dark, then we have white. Amen? So, but today is power over dark forces. Okay. Memory verse was taken from Luke chapter 10, verse 19. Luke chapter 10, verse 19. It says, Behold, I give unto you power to trend on serpent, scorpion, and over all the powers of enemy, and nothing shall by any means alter you. Amen. Behold, I give you power to trend upon on serpent and scorpion, and over all the powers of the enemy, and nothing shall by enemies or to you. That's the thing for today, the memory verse. And the, the passage is, was taken from Mark chapter 16, verse 17 to 18. Mark 16, 17 to 18. Hallelujah. We thank God for our Father and the Lord, Pastor Adeboye, for giving us this word of God. And it's a, it's a word of encouragement and exposition. It's a word of encouragement. I want to encourage us. Let us read this uh, Open Heaven devotional. In fact, let us cultivate our idea of reading it every day. They are power packed. I'm telling you the truth. Because what I notice about this. Uh, open level is that Baba Adeboye will talk to you even with his own personal experience. So it's not a theoretical matter now. It's not what we are reading only in the Word of God, in the Bible now. It is what he has read in the Bible and he practicalized and found to be true. Simple. So unlike so many other authors that will just open the Bible, they just bring a topic and develop it as a, a text or a book or whatever. Or, but no, this is what Baba does is that he read the Bible, he practicalizes it, and he works out the same. He now puts it in writing so that he can encourage we that are younger so that we can come up in faith. Praise God. Amen. So I encourage us to read it. And after reading, then you can now listen to my Arisa. commentaries. Arisa. You can now listen to my commentaries mm. and uh, understand the word of God. Now, Baba is talking about power over dark forces. So if I should start from that place, so if we have dark forces, that means there are f white forces. And if I should assume, I will assume that white forces, they are the forces of God. The forces of God. White, only. Only white forces. Only forces. That means That means in heaven, what they do every day is holy, holy, holy. Abi, and they are all white. Have you ever seen a dark angel among the angel of God? Have you ever seen or you have heard about dark angel that wearing dark clothes, dark hair on feather, everything dark? 
in the among the angels of God. I've never seen it. What we are always see and how they are being described them is that they are all white, white robe, white wings, white everything, and they shout holy, holy, holy. So the host of heaven, they are a, they are forces. Host of heaven, they are forces, the forces of God, and they are white. So, but the host of Satan, they are the dark forces. And that's why you see them, when you see them, or when you see where they describe them, you will see them in black clothes, black image, black uh, everything. Some may even have uh, horns. So the black wind, everything. Wind. They are dark. So, if Baba refers to or if, uh, is telling us about dark forces now, it shows that yes, definitely there is an opposite of dark, which is white. And that is referring to God. So, but that's not where we are going today. But we all want you to know that as we are having dark forces, we are having uh, white forces. So, and it takes the white forces, the holy forces of God, to attack and to prevail over the dark forces of Satan. Amen? Amen. The memory verse says, Behold, I give you power. Power. It means I give you a force. I give you a strength to trend upon serpent. Here, they use serpent as an example of a dark force. To trend upon scorpion. Because serpent cannot do you any good. Can serpent do a man any good? Serpent cannot do man any good. Even from the day memoria, it was the same serpent that Satan, Satan used to deceive mankind through Ephah, through Eve and Adam. The same serpent. And all this why I've now seen where serpent are playing with human being. Even people that says they are they they are rearing snakes. Although they, they 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 have a kind of snake that they rear, and if they want to rear them, they used to they used to remove their venom when they are young. What they used to do, they would take that uh, snake when it was when it's very young. They will remove his venom. They will remove some of his teeth and whatever before they can now be playing with it. But a natural snake, a natural serpent that has not been tampered with, nobody can play with it. And he too is not ready to play with man because they are wicked. So we are talking about, so that's a natural one. Talk less of supernatural one. Talk less of the supernatural one. That means the superficial one. Don't let me use the supernatural now. Superficial one. You know, that has some forces behind them. That was one There are some snakes. Some of them share Those ones, they are no more ordinary snakes. Because ordinarily, if a snake sees you, it's supposed to run away from you. Snake will not bite you unless you mistakenly step, step on it or you want to attack the snake, then it will attack you back. But naturally, when a snake sees a man, he will run. Man too will run. But in the situation that you now see a snake coming from nowhere to enter your bedroom, and targeting to come and bite you, that one is no more ordinary snake. And it has become a superficial snake. It has, it has been backed up by forces of darkness. So serpent is categorized as one of the power of darkness. Scorpion. Scorpion 2 is another one. Scorpion 2, there's nowhere... A scorpion can do without thinking 
man. I was thinking his subject. There, there was a story. There was a story. A story of a uh, scorpion and tortoise. The two of them go to the riverside and they want to cross the riverside. Do you know the story? Two of them get to the riverside and they wanted to cross. Tortoise was happy that he can cross because tortoise can swim in the water. He was very happy that he has no problem. But Scorpion cannot swim inside the water. He was having a problem. So Scorpion was now begging, begging tortoise that please help me so that you can, I can sit at your back so while you are swimming, so we can cross the water together. And uh, Tortoise said, no, I cannot do it because you will stink me. He said, how will I stink you? When I know that you are my helper, you want to help me? Ah, nobody say you won't help me cross the water. I cannot stink you. I cannot do that one for you. Just, I will just stay at your back. Then he said, I know you will stink me. I will cannot stink you. Okay, okay, no problem. So they now, he said, yeah, come on, come at my back. So Scorpion went at the back of uh, Tortoise. So Tortoise now entered water and was swimming. As he was swimming, you know, Tortoise enjoys swimming. Tortoise enjoys swimming. Ah, and, um, what is it? Scorpion too enjoy it as they were going. Unfortunately, the, baka, the Scorpion just think, he just think Tortoise. Ha! Ah. I say, ah, you stink me. Why do you have to stink me? He say, ah, I'm, I'm sorry. It is my nature. I don't just know. <laughs> As I was just enjoying the water, I don't just know the thing. I just, it just, it just my nature. It's just my nature. I'm sorry. He say, ah, you are sorry. You have stink me. I'm dying now. And eventually, the two of them, they were drawn and they died in water. So what I want to put from it is that there's nothing good from Satan. It is his nature to do evil. It is the nature of power of darkness, forces of darkness to do evil. So an example of them is scorpion. It is the nature of scorpion to stink, no matter how. No matter how good you may be good to some people, some friends, no matter what to do, you cannot please them. They will still say rubbish about you. They will still do evil against you. They, they, no matter what you can do. Why? Because it is their nature. Hallelujah. It is the nature of power of darkness to do evil. Just take note of it before we go to the main thing that Baba is teaching us today. Number three. He says, all and all over the power of enemy. We are talking about the memory verse. And all over the powers of enemy. We have power of enemy here and there. And the Bible says, And nothing shall by any means hurt you. So he now gives us the assurance that even with the power of serpent, power of scorpion, and all over power of the enemies, only they will not hurt you. Don't worry. I give you power over them. Because he says, I give you power to trend upon them. So just believe they will not hurt you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Baba now make us to realize. Baba Adiboye says, every believer is a nuclear power against kingdom of darkness. Every believer, every child of God, every person that gave his life to Jesus as his Lord and Savior, you are a potential nuclear power. It is you that you must now realize your potentiality. Realize it. Because if you don't realize it, they will keep on disturbing you and doing shakara over you. But if you have the knowledge, you see that what I was saying yesterday, devil don't like somebody that have knowledge. He doesn't like them. And the Bible says, my people perish because they lack of knowledge. If you, if you have the knowledge of whom you are, if you have the knowledge of whom you are, then you will know your authority in the Lord. Then you will know that no bastard from the kingdom of darkness 
can do anything against you. None of them. If you know whom you are in the Lord. But if you don't realize that you have that potentiality, then you will still you will always be in mess with them. Because just one word, like Baba was saying, say just one word backed up by the name of Jesus from your mouth can scatter out their kingdom. Just one word of faith backed up in the name of Jesus Christ. Scatter every that of the enemy. And it is when the enemy, if they when when they have tried every other means and they cannot catch you, you will now be saying them, saying all sorts of rubbish about you. Don't mind them. You just before they have tried all means. What you don't mind them. You just be focused. And the Bible says, when the enemy shall come like a flood, the Bible says the Lord, the Lord will raise up a standard against them. So when they automatically just let them know that no party for jungle. Because God is greater than voice of darkness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Baba now made us to realize that, practical example, that he remember those days that some witches and wizards in his village wanted to use him as a breakfast. So then he was running up and down. But later when he realized his potential and he gave his life to Jesus, he came back to the same village. And somebody was saying, ah, you are the same thing, DJ, you, are, you have no change. Why are you now saying that you have special power? And he told the man, say, Baba, why are you not? He told me, he told me, he told me, he told me, he me, he told 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 me, he they will look alike. If you see electric wire, there's no name that you'll be written on it that you cannot see that, ah, power is flowing inside this one. Power is not flowing inside this one. The two of them will look alike until when you touch, when you touch it, then you will, you will not, you are the one that will not tell the story. If, if God give you the grace, but if God does not give you the grace, you will not be the one to tell the story. There are other people that they want to tell the story. But, ah, eh, oh, ele loni na, ele loni na, because what you can't do the Because they would have seen what the effect would have been on that person that touched it. That's just it. So when you have the power of the Holy Spirit, it cannot be written on your head. You don't need to be wearing some special garment or to be wearing some special cross or carrying some special um, robe or whatever all around, before people will know that you have the power of the Holy Spirit. You don't need it. You just go normally on the streets, like every other person are going. Paul and Silas, I mean, Paul and Peter, they were walking normally on the street, like any other person were going. But the difference is that they have the Holy Spirit, and people felt it that this one are having the Holy Spirit, and they even run after scatter to touch them, so that they can receive their healing. Some people even lay their sick beside the road so that their shadow can fall on the sick and they will be well. That's the difference. So I don't need to, I don't need to be doing brag all around the streets or carry bell and be ringing it all around or the people to know that I'm a Christian. No, I don't need it. Try me first. Let them try you first. And if you know your potential, just give, let them try you. And they may not even be the one to tell the story. Because the host of heaven, the forces of God will rise up against them. Because the Bible says, when the enemy shall come like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord shall raise up a standard against them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, and that was what happened in the life of our father and Lord Pastor Adeboye. You will always see him gentle, quiet, easy going. He may not even talk. He may even find it difficult to talk at times. Always quiet, but try him. 
Just try to touch him with any evil. It is then you will know that, ah, no be shere shere o. It is then you will know that, no be shere shere o. So you don't need to write it on your forehead. You as a child of God, just what is important that you realize your own potential. Have the knowledge of the word of God. Know the weapons that are available for you. Number one, the word of God. Number two, the name of Jesus. Number three, the blood of the Lamb. The Bible says, for we overcome him by the blood of the Lamb and the words of our testimony. What is the word of our testimony? The Bible. Everything written in the word of God, they are words of our testimony. And the Bible says, at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. So we have this powerful, potent weapon. This three powerful, potent weapon that we must be carrying on around. And Babambari, the Holy Spirit. When you have the Holy Spirit inside you, my brother, you are carrying fire. You are carrying fire. In fact, if somebody messes up with you and you talk, you are just you are just helping the person because you don't want him to perish. If somebody mess up with you and you reply the person back, you have in fact you have helped the person you know, because you don't want him to perish. If anybody make mess up with you and you reported him to God, to the Holy Spirit, ah, no be shere shere o, no be shere shere o. So. I want you to realize your potential in the Lord. And I want you to know that you have the power over the power over the force of darkness. Don't let anybody intimidate you. And anybody can come with different um, um, vision. Yes. But it is you that you will now know what to do. And the next thing is that he went to God. He prayed. And God gave him power. And he came back to that village to come and address the same again. In that village now, if I were now, they know that, uh uh, Allah, because Baba has always been going there and he has instituted the power of the Holy Spirit in that place. And nothing can change this. I want to get over here, I want to get over here, all of them are gone. I want more to check who gone. Want to be because God doesn't say I want Baba. At that one, yeah, I want to be just I want no. So what the other few Baba is less there. We boom can only share in Louis and see, and all over the world. And thank God for His life. And I pray the Almighty God will continue to empower Baba Adebuy in Jesus' name. So the major thing and warning that the Bible gave to us is in the book of James, chapter four, verse seventeen. James chapter 4, verse 17. He says, Submit yourself therefore to God and resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Hallelujah. The terms and condition is that submit yourself. You have to submit. You have to submit yourself. Submit yourself therefore unto God. Meaning that darkness cannot fight darkness. You cannot be in the cage of Satan and be fighting Satan. Is it possible I have a chicken in my cage and the chicken will say, we want to fight me. So if I want to give him food, give it food. He, want to, he will peck my hand. Will I give it the food? There was a time we were having some stubborn broilers in the cage here. And they were so grown up and stubborn that even if you want to give them food, you have to use goggle to cover your eyes. You have to wear goggle. Even also, they can peck your eye. What is stubborn gun? But we still keep on giving them food because we know that the time of killing them is not yet right. And the day Christmas came, uh, Christmas, do you know how many we killed that day? About 20 of them kill all of them. So, the same thing applicable, if you are a, a non-believer, you are in the cage of Satan. And you cannot be in the cage of Satan and be fighting Satan. It's not possible. He will kill you. 
But if you submit yourself to God, you give your life to Jesus, Jesus will take you out of the cage of Satan. And the moment he takes you out of the cage of Satan, then you can now resist the devil. And the Bible says, he will flee from you. When you are out of the cage of Satan completely, eh, you give your life to Jesus, that shows that you submit yourself unto God. You give your life to Jesus, you, you ask for forgiveness of sin, you take him as your Lord and Savior, you are reading the word of God, you take the power of the Holy Spirit, you do baptism, you are following him, you, do, you go to Bible study, you go to prayer meeting, when they ask you to fast, you fast, when you're supposed to pray, you pray, when you, start, you submit, everything is part of submission, you obey God. Everything I've just mentioned, they are submission, it means that you fast, you submit yourself unto God. You humble yourself to God. It did not say you should submit yourself unto man. It says submit yourself unto God. And part of that submission is through the word of God that comes even from your pastor. The word of God that comes from your pastor, the word of God that comes from the leaders of the church, and they gave you the word of God, and you obey them, that's part of the submission. Then when you now submit, then you now receive the devil. The Bible did not say, and God will receive the devil for you. No. When you submit yourself to God, it is you that will now receive the devil. And the Bible says, and he will flee. We flee from you. I pray God will help us. So, if you, if you, if you don't submit yourself to the to God, and you want to resist the devil, it is very dangerous. That was the example of the seven sons of Scepha in the Bible. Act of Apostles chapter 19, verse 15 to 16. Act of Apostles 19, 15 to 16. The seven sons of Scepha, they, 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 they wanted to be using the name of Jesus for signs and wonders and be casting out Satan. And Satan said, ah, who be you? I know Paul. I know Peter. I know John. I know all of them. I know all those disciples. But who are you? We I don't know you. And the spirit of Satan came out of that person and banged on them and beat he beat nonsense out of them. Oh no, I'm bad. Oh no, I was oh. That was happened to you if you don't give your life to Jesus. If you don't give your life to Jesus and you want to attack Satan, you damn you. So the best thing is that. You first of all give your life to Jesus now and you receive the devil and he will flee from you. Hallelujah. The Bible says in the second Corinthians 10, verse 16, it says further, and having in readiness to revenge all disobedience, you can now revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. When your obedience is fulfilled, then you can now revenge all disobedience. It is when you when you obey when you obey fully that you cannot challenge Satan. Hallelujah! I pray God will help us in Jesus' name. In conclusion, Baba gave a key point: says surrender completely to God, obey His word fully, and you will have power over all satanic forces. I pray the Almighty God.